you know, sometimes life is unexpected. And that sometimes means you're starting over when you didn't expect to start over. You know, one of the things I remember about April 19th was before the bomb went off. Because that particular morning, I was spending a lot of time visiting with everyone. I was excited about moving into a new house. So I ran around visiting with all my friends and all the different departments, and I can still see the faces of everybody smiling and laughing and, you know, just in a good mood. It was the start of the day. It was before we opened, and I remember as it got close to 9 o'clock, thinking, I should probably get some work done. <laughs> I've been goofing off the first hour of the day. And I went and I sat down at my desk, which was very close to the front glass windows on the third floor. And one of my coworkers, who was seven months pregnant, sat down next to me to ask me something. And I turned to ask her what she needed, but I never got a chance to ask. At that time, it was called the most violent act of terrorism in America's history. 18 of my staff members were killed that day and several others were critically injured and hospitalized. One of the most special things that we do is we have a um, memorial garden out back and so on uh, April 19th we would always collect all of the staff right before we opened. We'd go out there, we'd have a time of reflection and talking about the contributions of those women that were circling before we had a moment of silence. And I think even uh, those that even weren't born then, you get a sense of we're involved in something that's bigger than ourselves. We have a heritage that very few others possess. And our new staff need to understand that those, the things of the past are woven into who we are now. I sometimes find myself wondering why my life was spared back in 1995 and so many other lives were taken. But once I made it out of the bombing, I knew that I had one tremendous job ahead of me. I was often asked by reporters, what made you think you could put the credit union back together again after it being totally destroyed? And my response to that question was, I didn't know I had any other options. I think one reason that you might want to have an account at Allegiance is that we are very dedicated to you being part of our credit union family, to being part of something where we're serving together, where our main goal is you. That's the only reason we're here is to serve our members. And we understand that we shouldn't even exist if we didn't have members that needed us. And that for us to be successful, it's got to be us making our members successful. My goal was to create a place where it was a great place to work. As I didn't think that, that our it's, uh, staff members would give a good service if they weren't happy. And so any way we could think of to make that happen, it was very deliberate. We really wanted it to be someplace where they want it to be. You can't always control what happens to you, only how you choose to respond to it. So our credit union responded to what happened to us um, in the best way that we could. And it was, okay, we're now forced into the community. How can we serve our community? So I would have never seen that coming. You know, I would have always thought that we would were there to serve just the people in the building. And had this never happened, we likely would still be in the building serving the people in the building. But that's not what happened. We got forced out of the building into the community. And so we had to adapt and we had to respond to that. And so now um, we are almost four times the size that we were in 1995. And we have, you know, several branches and many more employees and we're serving the community. And I'm really proud of how far we've come. I'm proud of our resilience.